What's going on guys? My name is John and this is the Paper Chase channel. Today is a very, very special video. This is not only the first video, but it is the first of... It was only a Star Wars one. It's only the first print. Uh, but we're good. Okay. Back to where we were. So, not only is it the first video and the first ruining of a classic comic on screen, but it is the first unboxing of a CPC submission. This is the book that started me collecting. The cover of it was so amazing, I had to get it. And I did within one year's time. You crazy son of a bitch, you did. This was already submitted to CBCS when I bought it. It was a 9.6. I checked the greatest notes. It had pressable defects on the back cover. And the seller informed me it was not cleaned or pressed before submission. Shame. Shame. Fuck off. In all actuality, if it comes back a 9.6 CBC label, I will be okay with that. I will be happy. 9.4, 9.2. Uh, that's gonna suck pretty bad. Let's go. You know what? I'm gonna do this uh, down here Can you guess what it is? <laughs> Two hints Okay, Let's do a quick peek make sure Let's See the corner. Right. Okay, we're good. So this top right corner should be the grade we're gonna cover here and the reveal for what the book is. Boom. There it is. Darth Vader number three, 125, Maroka variant. Did I pick the correct time to get this book? The reason why I bought this was from a casting rumor that I was maybe speculating could have been for the first appearance of Dr. Afro. Now, um, <clears throat> case looks great. So, gorgeous cover. Literally everything about it, the tone, the blocking. Some people prefer the cover A, not me. I think if she comes to the Star Wars universe, I think that this book could do great, great things. And I'm never gonna sell it anyway, so it really doesn't even matter. So, we're hoping for 9.6 or above. Let's see what we got. 9.6. I'll take it. I will take it. And it looks great. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at the book and see what defects might warrant a 9.6. Alright, so we're going to start on the front left side of the spine, as we always do, and we're looking for any spine stress lines or color breaking spine ticks. And we can see just barely the first one right there by my index finger. And then as we get to the base of my thumb, we can see one that's a little bit larger. I think that's the one that did us in. Of course, I wanted to give it a shot, see if we can get the 9.8 um, with getting that crease out. But I think that spine tick right there is kind of what locks this book into a 9.6. And then the back, these issues are infamous for color rub. If you have it too heavy, it could knock you into the 8.5 category I've seen sometimes. We have a little bit of color rub by Luke's heel right there. And we have a small smudge on the case. And other than that, everything looks really good. Super pleased. So don't forget to check out our Instagram, our eBay, and Whatnot app. All of those, the links will be in the description where we are posting social media content and selling books constantly. All right, and just in case you guys were wondering about my turnaround time, it was very quick. We had the book sent out on 1220. They received it on 1227, and then CGC shipped it back to me on 110 this year. So very quick, packaged well, no complaints just yet. All right, so there you have it, 9.6, 125, the Roka variant of Darth Vader number three, the first appearance of Dr. Afra. And the funny thing is, in the previous CBCS submission, they had her listed as Dr. Astra. How funny is that? Anyway, please hit the like, hit the subscribe button, 
I will be doing unboxing videos, comic hauls, pressing videos, podcasts, anything and everything that we can think of here at the Paper Chase channel. And as always, thanks for watching.